Yes, mistress? My guest and I don't want to be disturbed. Oh, yes, I understand. We're having a little rest. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> You know she's got in her room, don't you? A captain, an army officer, a Captain Bumptious. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't stand his... Do you like these army types? I can't stand these army types. They all talk so high, don't they? It's up there. No, it's all like that. What do you do? You feel they should loosen something, or, you know, it's... Like, let's have a spot of tiffin with our muffin. <laughs> I can't stand them. Anyway, none of our business, I suppose. Well, let's get... Greetings, good citizens. Now, let's get on with the prologue. Ooh. Now, it's always cold, this bench. <laughs> now, I'll stay... By the way, you don't mind if I just uh, go on cleaning my master's sword, do you? Because it's got rusty, like the rest of his equipment. <laughs> now, uh, I don't, well, no, I won't. No, I'll do it afterwards. You can't do two things at once. Now, here we are, now. About the prologue. Our story this week concerns the Greek god Pan. Pan. Now, Pan, as you may or may not know, has the hooves, the ears, and the horn of a goat. A goat. And no buts about it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I please yourselves. Anyway. <laughs> now, this god Pan used to spend much of his time chasing nymphs. Excuse me. <laughs> chasing... <laughs> chasing nymphs through the woods. And when he wasn't doing that, he was a plumber. <laughs> You must have heard the old song, The Furry Furry Pipes of Pan. <laughs> I know, I know. I know what you're thinking. As soon as you heard me say, Pan, you thought, here it comes. He's clean round the bend. That's what you thought. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, we don't descend to that level of human on this show. Now you know that. <laughs> anyway, it came to pass. Finished, 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 finished. Oh, dear. My master's coming back. I'd better warn the mistress. Uh, um, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Were you responsible for this, you oaf? Yes, Captain Bumptious. Oh, don't you dare do it again. Yes, but Captain... Finish the next, 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 where did they go to? Well, I think when you sinister, they must have dextered, Master. <laughs> ah, I see you finished my broad piece. Yes. <laughs> what about my small piece? Well... <laughs> I didn't think that was worth bothering with, actually. Uh, yes, um... You don't call me Master. Ma no. General Ludicrous when I'm in uniform, Gen remember? Yes, General Ludicrous, Master. General, yes, sir, yes. yes. Oh. oh, it's good to be back in command again. Command. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Would you believe a third pumpy and foot and mouth? <laughs> I say, yes. we take the field against the barbarians on Saturday. On Saturday? Oh, yes. yes. Home or away? Oh. <laughs> away. War's no fun at home, you ah, know. Ah, no, master, no. I say, has what? Captain Bumptious arrived yet? Uh, well, I don't think so. Oh, that's odd. I arranged to meet him here to work out some manoeuvres. Yes. Oh, I think he's doing those all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, he's in the public park. Oh, Good fella, Bumptious, you know. Very keen on it. Yeah, so I gathered, <laughs> yes. A march down there. Yes. Sinister the <laughs> There he goes, Hercules unchained. <laughs> See, old fool, he's past it. All these Romans, they get me down. They're war mad. They are, they're war mad. They're never happier when they're bashing away at something. <laughs> but the captain up there. <laughs> He's on manoeuvres, all right. Oh, well. I had there. I think I'd better warn him. Excuse me, I'd better warn the captain. Here we go again. Now. Oh, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind, please? I'm trying to act. <laughs> I told you before, you clod. I'm coming down there to deal with oh, you. No, no. Oh, no. Well, you, I can't seem to find anybody. Well, you know, there's nobody in the army now wants to get at it and have a go. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> ah, Bumptious, wanted to see you down at headquarters. It's about the draft list. We need every able-bodied man. Zup. Pip, pip. <laughs> <laughs> One day, if you were to serve in the army... I'd like to get you in my regiment. Oh, no, I'm not able-bodied, sir. 
I have this funny tremor running down my back. It's called fear. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But if you were to serve in my cohort, I'd make a man of you. If that's even remotely possible. Cheeky oh, <laughs> devil. <laughs> so hear that parting Sally? Make a man of me. The last person who said that to me was my first girlfriend. She damn near made a father out of me. <laughs> and as long as all these soldiers, they get me down these army types. Honestly, they're so arrogant, aren't they? Honestly, I've never seen people with arrows so gant. <laughs> no, never mind. No hap, no hap. Let us get on with the prologue. Now, it came to pass. Whoa, whoa, and the oh, dear, she is. Uh, Senna the soothsayer. I wish, I wish they'd call her up. Not that she's got much left to fight for. <laughs> Bottomless pit. Well. Three times have I gazed into it. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, she didn't miss it. Well, well, well. Please explain to her. She's been, she's, been, she's been drinking chloroform. I'm sorry. I see a terrible contest between Pompeii and the barbarians. Oh, really? Who's going to win? Now get your coupons out. <laughs> she's a good forecaster. Now. Scoff not. Scoff not. Scoff not. Well, I said scoff not. <laughs> what do you think there's a scoffy break? <laughs> I see you clearly. Do lying you? cruelly slain on the battlefield in Gaul. In Gaul? Disemboweled! Disemboweled? <laughs> Disemboweled! Drenched with blood! Oh, I know. The bows are ringing for me and my Gaul. <laughs> Oh, whimsicality upon whimsicality. <laughs> Take heed of my words and beware. Right. Beware! Oh, silly old bag, honestly. <laughs> oh, she is. She puts the mockers on me. She really does. I mean, cruelly slay on the battlefield. I'm not even the army. Oh, no. Not me. Oh, when the men go off fighting, I stay at home, I tell you. Oh, no, well, let's face it, some poor devil has to stay here and take care of the women. Let's face it, you know, attend to their needs and so on. <laughs> Not that I do much since sewing on. <laughs> Not since I've lost my thimble. <laughs> mm. 